bolt is not here, is it? As I'm told, I think we're not here. That is auditioning for a part of the county of Monte Cristo. Oh, 
I must admit, I do find I, I like punch my jaw as I'm going around. I'm not trying to keep a mask on, or I don't know. Like, by the time I got the hat off, I'm talking to this very regular. And also, what I've noticed, you don't want to try to smile at someone. I know, and you can't. I got the nervous No. No. I know. I know. I is everybody there? Supermarket in Chippenham. That's where I, I do my shop. Um, and I've been to the Tesco's Express down by Ladies Court a few times if I've been doing the notice board down there. But I'm just sticking to the one shop because I know my way around, I know what they're doing. But each time I go there, it changes. Like one minute they've got hand sanitizer, the next minute they haven't. One minute you can disinfect the trolley, one minute you have to go and dig on the the next time you don't. So even within any shop, it changes regularly. Why does everyone in Yorkshire have to sit on potatoes? Do they? Because they have devices to chip them. Right, I'm going to admit there to whoever there is and turn off the mute. Anyone more? Well, the chief says. Yeah, yeah. yeah. over to you, Terry. Okay. Oh, no, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah, just bear with me a second. Oh, so we've got a few general Terry's not on. Alright, oh, don't be anxious that distance. Okay, let's we'll start then. Okay. Okay. Well, moving on to the planning environment. Okay, so um Wednesday 22nd of July. Uh, as we all were present when we um, had the full council meeting, um, we just go straight. I would like to get the thank you. Oh, sorry, I couldn't remember the public. Thank you. 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 Thank
Oh, Zed. Zed, could you make yourself known? Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. Um, just I'll just read through the, um, these uh, items because you weren't obviously at the previous meeting then. Emergency evacuation procedure in the bit of... I don't need to read that now, do I? Because I'm still filming and recording. Uh, just the filming, yeah. So just moving to filming and recording of the meeting. In line with the openness of local government bodies, regulations 2014, this meeting may or will be filmed or recorded by the town council or all members of the public. And I understand that we're not recording it here, but I think it'll be easier uh, your recording. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm trying at least. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so moving to Eight more. Um, submissions from the public. Are there any members of the public that want to submit anything? No? Okay, I'll assume that's a no. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> to receive apologies for absence, which I don't think they're all in. No, no. are there? No. 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 Yeah. Declaration by members of the Local Government Act of 1972. I think they're the wrong note, maybe. No. Mm -hmm. Announcements by the chair, um, but I haven't known that. Um, to confirm the minutes of the meeting um, of the 24th of June 2020 as a correct record. Chair, on, chair, on the minutes, uh, sorry, on the um, agenda, is saying to confirm the minutes of the meeting 27th of May. Oops. But the actual minutes here are the 24th of June? Uh, all of them here. I got 24th of June. Yeah, so we just need 24th of June. Because we didn't need the draft um, minutes of that meeting to a previous meeting of the 27th of May. But at the top, it's actually the the of June. That makes sense? Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the actual agenda is saying. Uh, Minutes of the meeting, 27th of May. Not on, no, no, not on, not on the ones we've got here. No, on the one I've got here. Oh, you're probably looking at, at the previous um, the planning meeting then. No, you're talking about the agenda. So the agenda that you have in your agenda pack. Yeah. What does everybody else's agenda that they had in their agenda pack, what does it say on it? I think it's something at the... 24th of June, that's what I've got. 24th of June, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've got that, I've got that on the back. It says the 24th of June, but on the agenda, on the front, 27th of May. Oh, just, can we just be new in, just to speak? You're always trying to say something, but we're not hearing. Yeah, it's like, if, if, you, if you look down the page, it's numbered five on submissions from the it, on the list. So the top says 24th of June, but yeah. on this it says to confirm the minutes of the 27th of May. May, that's right. So I think that's what I, I think we were getting confused about the title rather than the content. The content yeah. is paragraph five, and it clearly says to confirm the minutes of meeting of 27th of May. Um, yeah. Is that an incorrect copy of someone was watching that? Yeah, that's the minutes, that's not the agenda. That is right, that is right, yeah. That's the minutes. That's the minutes. Not the agenda. Not the agenda, the agenda definitely says to confirm the minutes of the meeting of the 24th of June. Yeah, that's the minutes. 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 Hello? Are you, are you happy with that now? Uh, yeah, uh, but I wasn't there at that meeting, was I? No, no, no. no. Okay, so... We have a proposal. So we've got a proposal by Ben, seconded by Michael. Right, all those in favour, please. That's one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight in favour and one dissension, please. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Right. You can just finish your paper. Thank you.
of the residents. Um, I would have liked to upload a diagram, but it doesn't seem to be an option. 
So the second one is the rear extension goes a considerable distance along our adjoining garden fence and above the fence line and above the fence line and will re result in us having to look out on an unsightly side wall and elevated roof with skylights for nearly the full length of our garden as our property is set back in relation to number 11. It will right. result in an obstructed view from our kitchen and patio areas along with causing the loss of sunlight in my garden. Mm. Um, it then says this plan has been submitted without any prior notification to us as neighbours or any consideration of the impact of extending the rear of this property on the side that adjoins our garden. Um, and then the other one, the final comment from that resident says, the overall design, particularly the front view extension, is not in keeping with the rest of the houses in Stoke Meadows, a sort of the location within Bradley Stoke, and will change and detract from the overall look of a desirable residential street. And the other objection from a neighbour said, the proposed extension is out of keeping with the other 15 houses in Stoke Meadows. Since the houses were built in 1990, any changes made to the houses have retained the essential design of the property. Stoke Meadows, described by local estate agents, as one of the most desirable locations in Bradford Stoke. And the house prices reflect that situation, circa 500 to 650,000. This proposed planning application is for a design that will have no symmetry with any of the other properties and the house will not resemble them if the application is granted. One similar major extension is carried out at nine Stoke Meadows to and has not altered the essential character of the house in any way. No other major extension has been carried out during the 20 years we have lived here and so the essential essence of the small number of houses has been maintained. Indeed, it was a selling point to both ourselves and others. We're not opposed in principle to the planning application for the property, just to design it more in keeping with all the other properties which we have all tried to maintain to the original design concept. Sharon, uh, they cited uh, the light issue. Well, firstly, there's no right to light, mm -hmm. so that one they'll disregard. Uh, now, they spoke about building on the boundary or they can see the, the roof from their over their fence yeah. are they stepping are they stepping this application back onto their land because otherwise you'd have party wall acts they'd be having to build and have access to the neighbor yeah I think that's what they're saying no I think what they're saying is because this this bit here, I think, extends yeah. so far down, that's what the neighbors will be looking at over their fence. Yes, right. I can awesome. certainly... Um, site location and block plan? Yes. Yeah. Right, that's not... Yeah, that's right. It's stepped in, isn't it? The, the neighbours say their house is set back further, so obviously they see it would be more... Oh, yeah. That's true, that's true. Yeah. yeah. But they've got quite a sizeable plot there, and they're on the end, aren't they, as such, in that cul-de-sac, so... Yeah, yeah. Sorry? Yeah. 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 But that's not quite common in a way because they're doing wraparound, aren't they? In a way, look. So yeah, so that's what's there that we wanted, yeah, and the proposed. Yeah. So obviously they're building up yeah. here, and they're building up yeah. round the back. That's not yeah. Yeah. Over the yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Over yeah. 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 Over the yeah. Over the development. Over the development of site. Yeah. yeah. So that was proposed by Ben and seconded by Michael. Absolutely. Can you vote on that, please? Yeah. I'll not speak. No, okay. So Ed's in favour of that. Andy's in favour of that, please. Yeah, in favour. 
Yeah, okay, so I have to scroll between things here. So, so all those in favour, so that's one, two, three, four, so that's five. Favour of the proposal of objection? Seven. Or? Oh. So seven in favour. And, sorry, is it Tom, you abstain, and Pat abstain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My question is, uh, the, it was an objection, isn't it? Objection. Yeah. Objection yeah. on the grounds of overdevelopment of the site. Yeah. So seven in favour, two abstentions. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank I think that property is the friend is a drop. Drop line is coming up. Absolutely, yeah. I think we can go back to the thing. Oh, okay. yes. So that's that one. So the second one is P211733F, which is the erection of a first floor rear and side extension to form additional living accommodation at one Woodland Lane. So give me a second, so I can set that up on the screen. Is it that the move is very same? Then it is a big principle of the character. Mm -hmm. yeah, so exactly. yeah. 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 They weren't just individually. They were just saying that. Yeah. 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 So, so you. Mm -hmm. Is it ever so? Let's move on. It is. Yeah. 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 Y
Aubrey Holmes, a Marine. Well, no, I don't think so. I think it, the garage is quite short anyway, I think, already. It's pretty damn hard, isn't it? Yeah. So I will show you what it looks like. I can do the So it is. this house here. Mm -hmm. Left hand one. Yeah, well that, that's more than one. There's, there's a few there. So I'll yeah, quite narrow it. Yeah, I can yeah. show you the street image. It's a perfect street image of it. This is this mm. one here. So it's literally that garage. Right. So they're putting the window in and they're losing the garage. Yeah. Well, yes, but they're in the, the house, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. if you let me just find the so you the same, the same In a way they're losing one parking space. Yeah. Well they're actually well, yeah, they are. They they're losing. Yeah, yeah. Space, but not if you look at the if you look at the uh, proposed so the existing ground floor plan. Mm. So that is what's there at the moment. Because it's three stories. So the garage, garage, garage isn't a garage. The garage is a stall with a yeah. garage door. Well, Karen, one of the things is it was supposed to be a garage. They were using yeah. it as a school, but this one has AC access to make it as a parking space. That is what they are losing in the Yeah. They're using a garage in a parking space. I don't know how they were. I disagree that that's a, a, a usable car parking space. No one uses the garage as a parking space. It's no. too small. Yeah, yeah so, so that is what's there at the moment. We use it. That nobody we can generalize it. Are you? We use it. Yes, I I think no objection. Okay, so Michael proposed no objection and Terry seconded that. Councillors take a vote on that please. All those in favour? I'll abstain on that one. Tom, are you against? Against. So that's seven in favour. I'll, I'll, I'll do against. I'll join Tom on that one. Do against. Thank you very much. P21862F, the erection of first floor side and single storey rear extensions to form additional living accommodation at 33 Saxon Way. There is an objection. So, which is this house here? That's a big house. This house. That's with the conservatory there. Mm. Yeah. Let me show you the street image. So, it is this house here. So, essentially, the application is to take on the sliding roof there and fill in the space. And that's that white bit part of the house as well? Uh, I would think so, the big houses down there. Yeah. Yes, that's the front of the house. That's the bay, yeah. Uh... 
the fact that they're taking the conservative yeah. down. Okay. So I'll show you so some. Right. So I show you this one, which is this one. Okay, so that's what's there at the moment, yeah. and that's what they're proposing. So they're taking the conservatory away and putting the rear bit in, and then they are building out on the side. Is that not a big one? Put it on the side down. Yes. Yeah. 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 So that's what's there at the moment. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. so going from that, <coughs> that. So there are, well, it says that there's three objections, but one of them is just clarifying something which yeah. they said in the yeah. previous one. It's a dark brick instead of light. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and so one neighbour has said absolutely fine, no issues at all. Yeah. And the other neighbour has said, we purchased the property in 1996, partly because of the facilities within the property, but significantly because of the space between the buildings, the feeling of light and the protected natural hedge running between the bottom of the neighbouring properties and the privacy this afforded. I'm afraid I must raise objections to the proposals on the following grounds. The extension above the garage blocks out a line of sight from our downstairs and upstairs windows, replacing trees and skyline with solid brick. It would be too imposing on our property when looked at in conjunction with the extension on 51 Saturday night, which is a completely different application, I think. Mm. The previous application to extend in this way on Victorian style houses in the road have had compromised plans agreed with a straight side wall to roof line rather than the angled roof in the proposals. This would impact us even further with the brick pipes on much higher and unacceptable level. The proposed new back window on the first floor will have a direct line of sight into our garden through our French doors, which is an original feature of the master bedroom, on the first floor, invading our privacy and also down into our kitchen. Replacement of the conservatory. As previously stated, a significant factor in buying our house was the amount of space between the houses and the privacy afforded by the protective edge. Over the years, the hedge has been stripped out, cut back, and elements removed to a degree that it has now lost its integrity, and we have lost our privacy. An additional consequence is that any new buildings will be clearly visible. The proposed structure is imposing in design. It has a gable end, which would mean the highest point of the structure is at the furthest point from the house and closest to us. It also has a significantly larger footprint than the current structure. Um, I don't know, the next bit is um, says, um, the building is light brick, not dark brick, as I stated. Um, so I think that bit, which doesn't necessarily apply. No. Then it says the extension on the property at 51 combined with the proposed structure means that the gap between the buildings when built is now very significantly less, providing less space and the greater feeling of being squashed in. This, I believe, is against the principles of the development and will affect our quality of life. The extension on 51 appeared acceptable on paper, but is much more imposing and impactful in real life. I also believe the proposals, if implemented, will have an impact on both the saleability and the value of our own property. Okay. Sharon, you, you referred to a protected hedge. Um, I don't think, no, I think he just didn't say that. 
couldn't say a protective head, I think it said it was saying cover it, you know, quite maybe it does say a protective head, but whether that means a protective yeah. head. So but I mean that I don't think it means that. I think no, it means it's it was protective protective. Yeah, yeah. And yes, on their property. Yeah, property. Yeah, yeah. Uh, along their property which has been stripped out, cut back. Yeah, so now that they yeah. have been on the hedge apart from anything else. Sure. That's what I was getting at, really, because there there are protected hedges, as we know, on some of these sites, and it does ring a bell. This number thirty three. I, I got a feeling it may have come up before. Yeah, the the um basically what that that was about is the neighbour directly. I think yeah, I think this must be fifty one tracks yeah. away. I think so. It must be linked to the hedge which goes along here. I think. Yeah. 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 So obviously that, that, that the house is, is the neighbouring houses must be feeling yeah much more yeah. Mm. That doesn't mean knowing you know how large those pots are and those houses are. Even the footprint of the conservatory is coming out a few more feet on that diagram. It looks well, I thought it was the same with it, but it yeah, looked like it was yeah, just yeah, a little yeah, bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it wasn't I would say it was like in their garden. Yeah. No, it does come out quite a bit more, but there. Yeah. So that's yeah. that's the conservatory. Although obviously the back of the conservatory does come out to the edge. I think yeah, so. It's, 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 off. it's just yeah. it's, it's filling in this bit, isn't it? So yeah. yeah. Sharon. Also, Sharon. Sharon. There okay. is something. Can you scroll a little bit up? There's a painting, the one that you were showing, proposed. And what is exit on the side bit? What is actually right now? There's no sorry. Existing. What is that right now? Oh. Don't. No, don't. Why is that doing? Sorry. Sorry, Tom, say that again. Sorry. There is a side extension over there. So what is that right now over there? In that side extension which they are proposing in the existing plan. All right, so yeah, so that that's what's there on the existing. Uh, the the so they're keeping so what's there. They they so understand that the, the view is going to be impaired. Yeah, yeah. So the, the building up there. Yeah. So the rear extension is the single story bit, so that's replacing the conservatory. And the side, the first floor side is building over what's there at the moment, obviously. Uh, from, from memory, I, I got a feeling it was to do with that roof line that they didn't like before on the plans. There was one opposite as well, which was similar. The planners didn't like the roof line. I'll, I'll go along with that. Yeah, I, I think so too. It's um, it's quite a bit of an inflow for that roof. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But to be honest, I like the new plan. That very first photo where you saw the front of the house. Yeah. I think if you then. If that was then there, if that's then filled yeah. in, I think it's going to look like a stomach that's dirty. Where did it come to the wall? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's, oh, it's going straight to the next property, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Does it make the impression of terrace? Hmm? Is it going to give the impression of terrace? Oh, yes, yeah. you're right. You're right, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. When it comes up to the end, there's a bit of hard What is that, Mike? Just want to put yeah, I agree. Darren, yeah. can you say what Mike said? Terrace. Uh, he said, yeah, it will end up looking like it's a terrace of houses because it's coming very close to the next door neighbouring house. Over development. Yeah. Okay, it's so over development. I propose over development. It's being proposed by Tony. Second. By Keith. Right, can you take favour? Vote all those in favour, please. So, right, hang on a minute. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, bad. Andy? Keith? Yeah. Yeah, that's six right. in favour. 
Yeah, I love the string. Right, and the against, against and against, uh, form of stain, and edge against. Against. Or against, so that's two against, and one abstention. Thank you very much. Thank you. So the next one is P20 PDR, which is the erection of single storey rear extension to form additional living accommodation at two parts of me. every day and I can't see any problem. Uh, yeah. That's no objection. Can you take a vote on that please, councillors, if you're in favour of no objection to that one? Right, go with me a minute while I see Andy. Yep, marvellous, please. Yes. Yep. Do you it? Are you abstaining then? No, no, no. Uh, okay, so eight in favour and one again. Thank you very much. single-storey rear extension to form additional living accommodation at 151 Meadow Way. Is there a second? Well, I just find it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Oh, looks as though it's hit button here. <laughs> Right, okay, so it is this half here with the conservatory. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Show you the yeah. 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 Taking down the conservatory. Yeah, it's the same before. Yeah. Yeah. Happy to second Tom. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Any comment from the neighbors? No. No, it's at least read up with something. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Thank you. Can I take a vote, please? Those in favour of no objection to this one? Thank you. Uh, so that's eight in favour. Against or eight in favour. All again. Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 
not to look very into work within the scope of the planning and environment committee, not to look at the task The SDP points, perhaps they met with the six mention dispatch lane, stakeholder liaison group opting. Yeah, there is nothing further to report. Um, up, if you have the, um, the Alan Griffiths proposed plan for next three months at the last yeah. meeting, so yeah, yeah, that's nothing. Okay, thanks. Yeah, Sharon, is, is that where they propose to move the bridge now in October? Yeah, yeah. yeah October, November, isn't it? Yeah, very yeah. 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 awesome. yeah. 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 y
with, with the relaxation and more people going back to work and more people possibly on trains and all the rest of it, we're going to see more movement of people generally. So these temporary schemes, you, you know, are doomed to failure. The one at the bridge there in our ward is failed because, you know, it's all about really network rail should build a tunnel. And if they did the tunnel, which they were supposed to have pledged to, we wouldn't be in this situation now. But yeah. I do have concerns with temporary becoming permanent, and we need to make sure that this is what the local members want and the local people want. Yeah. Okay. And, oh, and sorry, and also, you see, when they, when they put these schemes out, they say it's not actually a consultation, it's an advisory. Now, the thing is, they ask people to respond. Now, are they going to send letters out to all the people here? And when they do, the responses go to Sustrans. Now, Sustrans is biased. It's cycling. Yeah. It's not really taking on board, you know, pedestrians as such. Yeah, but, I mean, fair point, Keith. Um, uh, the, the person who brought this back up was the same person who started it in the first place, you Steve Horton. And apparently he <laughs> done it on a cycling basis. But without a shadow of a doubt, that particular passage at that point is damn dangerous. It is very narrow uh, that thing. You, know, you, you, you get a cyclist at one end, a pedestrian yeah. at the other end, you can't see behind the bush and sooner or later somebody's gonna get hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Well I'll go with it. I'll go with you know if you're happy, I'll go with it. But I just wanted you to be aware of officers, you know, really yeah, suggesting happened, things. This one hadn't come from an officer, this has come from a local resident who obviously... Right. Yeah. 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 And um, the sooner it's done, the better on a permanent basis. Yeah. We're not looking yeah. at Okay. I'll go with that. That's I think it's that keep the green because one part of the station is interesting, but say how they've got it in place. But if they turned around and said, oh, it's great, we'll close that lane and put cones out in the track flight system and we'll do it for COVID-19, then it's, I only saw what the residents done in terms of trying to push the point with that yeah. person initially. <laughs> so it might be the wrong point to push because then we end up with something that's it's not be done for 10 yeah. times worse than temporary. Well, then perhaps we could, uh, if, if the council has reminded you, we could write to support the suggestion but yeah, well, in fact, it's a permanent solution, not some temporary traffic lights and cones in the road. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not the real. That's chair. That's the reason why I said, you know, we need to actually support that because it's a narrow road. It has been an issue for some time, for years. So I think it's, uh, we don't have to take it. We have to take a broad uh, perspective on it. And I think we need to support it. That's what I'm yeah. 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 want to propose if we can do that. The port That's what I'm proposing. A permanent solution yeah. to this yeah. 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 The and reason why this COVID 19 came up because they thought there was some funding available yeah. using yeah. the COVID 19. Yeah. yeah. But it has all about the COVID 19 things are only temporary measures. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. so the, we support the proposal for a permanent solution. Yeah. 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 Yes, that's lovely. Thank you very much. You've got health and safety as well, mine. Yeah, I think I heard you say that.
Can can we can we uh, give thanks to Vicky for her report? No, that there isn't a report in this meeting. That was done last. Oh, oh right, that's what we had last time. Yeah, yes. I got it. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.